Hey guys and welcome to an unboxing of the portal headphone, um, the ultimate portable headphone in my mind anyway, um, the Biodynamic T5P. So it's their flagship Tesla portable headphone sitting above the DT1350 or yeah and the um, T70, T70P. So it's in line with their T1 semi-open flagship. So um, Obviously it's portable because it's closed, so it isolates sound, it's 32 ohms so it can be used with portable gear um, and driven to a loud um, volume. Obviously I still recommend using it with high quality source and high quality amp because you know this thing is really transparent, really picky and it will um, tear um, cheaper sources to pieces. Um, just just um, in reference to a recent video I just want to apologise for the lighting. Um, it's probably down to this um, old camera as much as anything, but um, I've been trying to change up the lighting as much as possible to try and make it as easy to watch for you guys. So I'm going to go back to just using this um, old table in the conservatory, which has quite nice natural lighting. So just let me know if you think this is a bit better. It also works better because this box is huge, and where I normally do it, probably wouldn't fit this box. But um, yeah, back to these. Um, obviously they say they're an audiophile stereo headphone, um, I think the retail for these is still roughly um, £900, um, I've seen some deals come up on them though so um, I don't know. I have featured these on the channel before alongside um, the T70P I think, but um, the reason I want to do an unboxing is just to show you what comes with them, how it's presented obviously because it's an expensive headphone. Um, you want to know it's a it's a good package as well. So I just wanted to um just wanted to show off the um the whole experience for them really. So um, let's let's get going. It's probably worth noting that this is not a brand new unit. It's an X demo, but um relatively untouched as far as I'm aware. So just in case um there is anything that you wouldn't expect from a brand new unit. There's no need to um, worry and think they've got bad quality control. I really don't think Paydynamic have bad quality control. Or well, not that I've ever heard anyway. So um, this big um, metal case is the um, storage case. It's not expected to be used as a um, portable travel case, I don't think. So um, it's a really nice storage case. You know, it just shows that these are a premium product, and um, it's really nice to see. So, uh, so open it up. It's well padded inside, of course. Um, you got your guarantee there, as you ex should expect. Um, you've got a bit more about the T5P um, and the Tesla technology, which. Um, if you read my Biodynamic Dynamic Day review on my website, I'll explain a bit more about. You then get this pouch travel bag, which is like a velvet material. And inside we have just that second accessory bag. I'm not sure, I'm actually sure what you get in here. Okay, so we have a cable extension and on the floor I dropped the aeroplane adapter you get with it as well. One quick thing I'd like to mention personally is a uh, travel case would have been nice if it was a bit more solid, nothing against the velvet pouch, um, it does look Nice and feel nice, but it's not going to offer a lot of protection. Say, if I um, was to put it in my um, bag with the headphones in, obviously, the storage case is really premium, really um, elegant. I will use it in the house, the cats don't get to it. But um, I do recommend picking up a um, fitting um, storage travel case for it, such as this um, Hi Fi Man portable travel case. I think it's $29, so it's roughly 20 quid, and um, I think it fits fits the um, headphones in there quite nicely. So that's just a little point I would recommend getting a nice um, case for it, but not that there's anything wrong as such with what you get. Um, let's have a look at the 
headphones themselves now. Alright. So here they are, the Biodono T5P, and they really are something. They are that the leather pads feel so comfortable. Um, yeah, there's, they are so well built. Really, nothing to fault with how they're um, with how they're built or anything like that. They feel really, really like a quality product. They, um, yeah, they really do ooze quality. Yeah, I have to say. Um, you get a quarter inch um, adapter jack there on it as well. Probably worth noting. And uh, yeah, that's the T5P. Um, let's check. They nicely. Yeah. So if you do have them and are looking for a case, the Hyperman travel case will work perfectly. That's worth um, looking into. It's twenty nine dollars from Hi-Fi Man, um, and I think I think it's a lovely package. Oh, I really do like um, I really do like this storage case. Uh, it's one of the most awesome cases I've seen it come with a headphone. It really does look the business. So. Um, yeah, this is the T5P. I will be doing a written review of them on the website. And um, obviously you can look at some in-depth sound impressions on the previous um, T5P video i done for my biodynamic day. Um, if you remember it, I really, really did favour these headphones. They sound absolutely amazing. No um, closed headphone, in my opinion, can get close to them. Apart from the Fostex TH900, which... I think I might actually prefer, but I don't see it as a portable headphone. Um, it's not something that isolates very well. It's not something that I would want to wear at the house. It's not something I feel comfortable on my head on the move with this. I will, I will definitely um, be taken out of the house, and I'll be definitely using this on the move. Um, it's completely made for that, and it can completely handle that. So um, that's, a, that's a little look at the Biodynamic T5P as a package. A wonderful headphone, and I'm really, really excited to finally own one. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Please give this a thumbs up. Please like it. And um, please check out my website, www.inearspace.co.uk. See you soon, guys.